we have Ava Colasanti, and Ava Colasanti also has some significant grip strength on her side. So we will see if she makes it past special delivery. She will bump Katie Bone out of the top three. Ninja Force in Albuquerque. That was the gym I couldn't think of. Ava Colasanti, one of the crown favorites here at center court. This is her home gym. Oh, one more thing I can do. Stall for me. Easy work getting through the ropes here, Marvin Gardens. Ava very familiar with uh, with this type of ring check. <gasps> oh my god, Ava. Don't slide off now. And lining it up. Attacks. Yep. Lining up this throw here. There's that move. Of course she's awesome. got it. Of course. Athlete number six already to make that move. These these girls definitely have the technical abilities to go deep into this course. And now just the kind of unknown here. And she's got the double. Going straight Great for move on that delivery. salmon ladder. She makes a special delivery and she could knock out Katie Bone by completing this obstacle. Which Beautiful. I think she's gonna do the hand over hand approach. That is a little bit more difficult I feel like than going both hands at once, but I always tell people whatever works for you is what you do in Ninja. And now Ava eyeing up this shelf grab here, the shelfies. Again, Ava, another athlete I would bet on 100% getting through this. She has some incredible grip strength on her side. I know there's no hometown advantage, really, but look at the three athletes who are going to move on. Abby Clark, Rachel Deguts, and uh, Ava Colasanti. Now, can she be the second to make this catch? She makes it. Fantastic. 45 seconds, just about. She does need to have a little bit more urgency, but how much strength does she have left? The lactic acid buildup may be starting to make a difference, oh. and she tripped on French toast sticks, but that is okay because she's going to stage three, and that is ultimately what matters in this competition, finishing in the top three, which she did.